A lot of your highest rated matches are like as of recently. Like I, I didn't even know this, but evidently there's like a whole rating system oh, for the God. matches. Don't get me started on have, the rating system. <laughs> you, you have a very rare five star rated oh, match with Cody Jesus Rhodes Christ. coming out of 2022. So I mean, I, technically, you're right. You're at the top. You're you're at the the peak, bro. It's just those those star ratings don't <laughs> mean. Dave, don't Dave. don't even say his last name. <laughs> Don't even give him the credit <laughs> on this podcast. Look, he gave you five I, stars. I know that's what Buka Beppo gets. Do, do you do you know? <laughs> and if I'm I'm not mistaken, like I think that like Kurt Angle has no five star matches. <laughs> Okay, one of the greatest of all time. And there's a, there's a plethora of these people. My point is, Dave's great. He's a historian. Dave Meltzer is yep. his name. Yep. He's great. He's a great historian. He's been a part of the business for a long, long time. He started with the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. That was his big thing. So they used to send out literal, actual newsletters every month to subscribers just detailing wow. what had happened here that and there much. yeah whatever had happened anywhere in wrestling that month and you know he was big in japan he would look at everything in mexico anything where there was wrestling going on that was drawing crowds he was reporting on it injuries backstage news all that stuff and now there's this whole culture online because the backstage stuff is you know what are they going to do Ooh, they're doing how, this, how they're do doing they get that. this information oh there's moles everywhere is man. there because yeah, i see yeah. these tweets the rumors blah blah and i'm like i don't even know about this <laughs> how do you know how you, and sometimes i do know about it and it's true yeah and i don't know who's leaking this information dude somebody out there is is leaking it to somebody or telling somebody who's telling somebody who's telling somebody you never know you never know you gotta be very careful wild, with your information in this wild. industry but he's great as a historian but match ratings are silly match ratings are very silly well, it's subjective like, right? like i said it's yeah. so subjective like if if it's good it's good like i said you know when something's good i can watch a match on any show on the planet in front of a crowd of 70,000 in front of 20 I'm like if if the people are popping it's a good time that's the end of the game but like to put star ratings on it i I, good for you. This grand theft good, auto. <laughs> good, yeah. Good for you. You found you found something that like people have latched onto, and it's fun to debate and all that stuff. But in the grand scheme, it really it it, it means very little. Well, you know, ratings just do good nowadays. Like pizza, bur yeah. any oh, any dude, can, yeah. people just love being in on the idea of scoring this. Of first course. Time, right? Hey guys, if you like that clip, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to see more zany clips, click the video right here. <laughs>